Hi, I'm Tim Colborn from the Western Chicago Audubon Society. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the cusp of migration. We've just turned the calendar month over to March and things are starting to happen. The ice is melted out on the lake and we're starting to see a lot of waterfowl move in. Large numbers of Canada geese and mallards are showing up and we should start seeing a lot more dabblers on our little lakes and ponds. Birds like pintail and widgeon, gadwall and others are starting to mass in good numbers as they get ready to move through. It's an exciting time of year because we know that the warblers and the other songbirds will be uh, coming up and going through our area within the next couple of months. But as we wait for that, we can start to anticipate some of the large waterfowl movements and then the shorebird movements that are likely to come in the next month or so. Go, if you go farther up the river... Uh... We've already started to see many of our gulls move into the area when the ice first started to melt. And those gulls have stayed in some large numbers as gizzard chat has had a die off along the lakefront. But soon those gulls will be dispersing. We've already had many, many waterfowl start to move into the area and through our area. We're seeing large number of swans and geese and ducks moving through. Many of the diving ducks have started to go through and have moved through already. And the dabbling ducks that move into the area, many of them uh, that nest in the area are coming through now as well. Uh, the gulls that have moved through and into the area have provided opportunities to see some of our rarer species like Glaucus gull and Iceland gull. The ducks that have gone through have also provided some rarities. We're seeing snow goose and greater white or white fronted geese that that have moved through and uh, even some small numbers of Ross's goose and cackling goose those birds that uh, we only get a real good chance to see when these large numbers move through here in the beginning of the waterfowl migration But it's also a time when we anticipate the songbird migration. We can see if we, uh, if we travel either to, toward farm fields or along the lakefront, large mixed flocks of blackbirds. And while we can sometimes see small numbers of blackbirds throughout the winter, it's really this point at the end of February, beginning of March, where those blackbird numbers start to increase. And we see mixed flocks of grackles, red-winged blackbirds, and even some smaller numbers of rusty blackbirds. So we're getting ready for the songbird migration, and even now we're starting to see birds come into our state, like the eastern Phoebe, which is one of those harbingers of spring. And the woodcocks are starting to show up and do their sky dances in the evenings. And it won't be long before we start to see the number of warblers increase. Already there have been reports in the state of pine warbler, and it won't be long before we start to hear the song of the Louisiana water thrush and start to see some of the other many songbirds that will be here in force in mid to late April. So I encourage you to get out and enjoy a place like the Cleveland Lakefront Nature Preserve or any place where you can see some birds in their natural habitat as they start to move through. One of the places you might like to go and enjoy the birds is at the Shreve Migration Sensation, an event that happens every March, this year on Saturday, March 17th, down in Shreve, Ohio. And down in Wayne County, there'll be lots of great birding speakers and related events. So wherever you are, get out, enjoy the birds, and get ready for migration. For the Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society, I'm Tim Colborne.